guys. So this is week one check-in for weight loss, and I feel pretty good. I did, I did okay this week. There was a couple bad parts, but uh, let's get right into it. So for this week, I lost technically 10 pounds, but I think it's because I started my period this week. If that's TMI, I'm sorry, but everybody goes through it, and if you're a guy, you will someday marry a girl who goes through it too. So. Um, I think a lot of that weight loss was water weight. Um, I'm always bloated before I start my period and then that of course goes away when I start my period. So a lot of that weight loss is accountable to starting my period. So I'm not actually sure what I lost and I don't know what to count either. Like really confused. So I guess 10 pounds down. That's good, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> I'm so confused when I saw that this morning. I was like, uh-oh. So do I count that as weight loss? Do I? I guess I'm going to count it. Now I'm going to put in my body shot for this week. Also some clips showing you what I ate for this week and some pictures to follow it. Okay, so for breakfast, um, I had toast with peanut butter and a banana on Saturday. On Sunday, my husband was very bad and went and got us um, Bojangles. Um, if you don't know what that is, it's a fast food restaurant that has delicious biscuits. <laughs> so, I should say it was me that was bad for eating it, but it was him that went and got it. But So from Bojangles I had a bacon, egg, and cheese biscuit and hash brown rounds. Um, they're called Bo rounds, but they're just like little rounds of hash browns. I don't know. Um, on Monday I had a Kashi frozen waffle that was blueberry. We, I had two of them. That was the serving size. And I had sugar-free syrup with it and a banana. On Tuesday I had Czech cereal, a bowl of Czech cereal, and an orange. On Wednesday I had a bowl of Raisin Bran Crunch. On Thursday I skipped breakfast because I slept in um, so I went straight to lunch and then Friday I had multi multi-grain Cheerios with apple juice. For lunches this week on Saturday my husband made us turkey tacos. Basically it's tacos made with um, ground turkey instead of ground beef and an apple. And on Sunday we had leftover kale vegetable soup You'll find out what that is when I show you my dinners. On Monday I had a turkey sandwich on wheat bread with grapes. And on Tuesday we had leftover stuff pep stuffed peppers. Like I said, you'll find out what that is when you see my dinners for the week. Wednesday I had a peanut butter sandwich with wheat thins and grapes. Um, on Thursday we had leftover burritos with leftover rice. And Friday I had a peanut butter sandwich with Doritos, which wasn't be the best choice, but oh well. And applesauce. So here is our menu for this week for dinners. Um, I always write them out on this little menu board that I made. Um, on Saturday we had kale vegetable soup, which I put up a um, recipe video of with spinach grilled cheese, which is with spinach grilled cheese, which I also put up on that video. Um, I'll link it over here. Um, on Sunday we had steak salad. Monday we had stuffed peppers with rice. Tuesday we had burritos with rice and we used the leftover stuffing from the stuffed peppers to put in the burritos. Uh, Wednesday we had just a chicken breast with mashed sweet potatoes and green beans. On Thursday we went out and I had a side salad and then for an entree I had Salmon with rice and steamed vegetables. Um, Friday we had spaghetti with spaghetti squash. So my goal for this week was to exercise at least three times this week. I know that's not very much, but for me I always like, oh yeah, I'm going to exercise you know, five times this week, and then I exercise once, and then I'm done. But 
The, uh, the difference is, the other times I was not in the mindset I'm in now. Now I'm, you know, like I said in my intro, intro video, I am ready to lose weight. I am committed. I am just going for it. Um, and so this week, I didn't get to three times, but I'll tell you why. So, um, I started this on Saturday. Saturday I did not work out. Um, but Sunday, my husband and I and my dog went for a f almost four mile walk. So that was good. It was a really nice day out. And then Tuesday I went to the gym and I did an hour on the treadmill. I think it was almost three miles, I think is what I, what I got to. Um, and then I tried to go again yesterday. Um, Wednesday and Thursday here, and Friday for that matter, were really cold and rainy. And when it's really cold and rainy, that means it's gloomy. And so when it's gloomy out, I am... <laughs> I'm not depressed, but you know how when it's gloomy out, you get kind of down, and you're not yourself. Well, that totally happens to me. Um, when it's sunny and nice, I am more than ready to go outside and go for a walk and play with my dog outside and all that. But so I tried to go on Friday because I wanted to get three times a day, three times a week in. But the gym was closed. Um, my gym is in a little community center across the street from my house and they were closed because of an employee meeting so I couldn't go to the gym yesterday. So there went my three times a week. So I went twice this week. I'm still happy with it because I feel like I got really good workouts and it really got me started and so yeah there's there's my excuse for not having three times a week but I will you know I will do better next week. So hardships this week. I I didn't have very many. I'm very surprised that I didn't have very many. I didn't have very many. I didn't have very many sugar cravings. If you watched my intro, you know that I'm a sugar person. I didn't have very many sugar cravings where I wanted chocolate, where I wanted, you know, candy or something like that. I didn't have very many, which was really good. But but I did have a couple times where, you know, I thought about going to the gym and I was just like, "No." don't want to. Like I said, it was gloomy this week and I just, you know, I knew I should have on Thursday. I should have gone, but I didn't. And I, yeah, so I decided not to go because it was gloomy. And then I tried to go on Thursday, at, uh, on Friday, and it was, it was uh, closed. So those were the hardships for the week. Triumphs for the week. When I went on my four mile walk, if you watched my intro video again, <laughs> I'm going to reference my intro video a lot, so I will link it up here. In my intro video, I said that my husband and I have been eating healthy since the beginning of the year, basically, and that he felt an immediate difference when he um, was working out, because he works out a lot. and. Um, I hadn't felt the difference yet, but when we went on that almost four mile walk on Saturday, I totally felt it. I am one that does not like hills. I don't like going on walks, and I don't like going on bike rides because of the hills. I just, we live in an area where like the block around us is flat, but the block beyond that is like hill up, hill down, you know, just hills everywhere, and I don't. <laughs> I wasn't looking forward to them, but I decided I was going to go on this walk with him because he needed to walk to go get something done, and you know, why was I not going to go with him? Why was I going to make him walk that by himself? So I went with him, and the hills were so easy. So easy, and I am totally going to account that to eating better. Um, my body is just able to push me up those hills easier than it did before when I wasn't, when I was eating junk. So that is my triumph for the week because that, that feels awesome. Another triumph for the week is when I went um, to the gym on Tuesday. Yeah. When I went to the gym on Tuesday, um, you know, of course, when you go to the gym and you work out for an hour, whether it's the elliptical or the bike or the treadmill or whatever, if you're not used to working out, you just kind of, it's like you get to the 20 minute mark and it's like, oh, I don't want to do this anymore. Can I get off? 
and I just have to had to keep telling myself, no, just keep going. You only got 44 minutes left. You only got, you know, 30 minutes left. You only got 19 minutes left. And I did it. I did the whole hour without stopping, without taking a break. You know, I was drinking water the whole time, but I didn't take a break to drink water. And what really helped is I took along my phone and I watched, you know, YouTube videos and Netflix and just pass the time by watching something, you know, um, just like people do in, in a big gym where they have a TV going um, or listening to music or whatever it is. For me, it helps me to watch. For me, it helps to watch something that will be, you know, 45 minutes long and then all of a sudden it's like, oh, this show is over. I've done 45 minutes left. I only have 15 minutes left to go. That was easy. So that's how I felt. Um, one more triumph this week was that when we went out for dinner this week, um, I got a healthy option. I have to admit, I had two mozzarella sticks and I had, you know, a side salad and I didn't smother it in ranch. I, you know, took my fork and dipped it in the ranch and then ate the salad, which is the best way to eat it if you're going to eat sa um, salad dressing so that you use, you know, very a very limited amount. I had salmon and rice and steamed vegetables and it was really good. I, I'm not one that's like, ew, vegetables. I really like vegetables and I really like fish. Salmon is really good. Um, and so I was really proud of my choice that I made. And when I left, I wasn't feeling, you know, stuffed beyond reason. I wasn't feeling stuffed full of, you know, junky, greasy food. I felt full with good food. And I, I was so proud of myself for that. So my goal for next week is to drink more water. I would like to... I have a water bottle that is 24 ounces, I think. I would like to have at least three of those every day. At least three of those, because that would get me to my eight, eight glasses a week. If you hear the squeaking, that's my dog over there playing with his toy, I'm sorry. Um, but to get to at least eight, eight glasses a day um, of water. I am, I drink water, but not as much as I should. So that is my goal for this week. Um, my hopes and concerns for this next week, I hope that I, you know, I hope it stays nice outside because it's really nice day outside today and I think I'm going to take my dog for a walk as soon as my husband gets home. So I hope that I stay motivated. I hope that I go to the gym again at least three times a week. I would like to get it, you know, I would like to get more than three times a week if I can, but you know, I'm not, I'm not disappointed if I get you know, two, and I'm not overly excited if I get just three. So I am hoping for a good week. My concerns for this week is that I will, is that I will get discouraged and that I will not go to the gym as much as I want to. Other than that, I'm really not worried about this week because of how well this last week went. I just felt so good and I, you know, I stayed motivated the entire time. And usually when I start a diet or an exercise plan, I fall out of it within, you know, three to five days or something like that. And I go right back to my old habits. But I haven't even felt a need to go back to my old habits. And that's just, that's awesome. That just tells me that this time, you know, I'm, I'm ready for it. I... You know, my body's ready for it, and it's telling me to go. So that is my week one weight loss update. If you guys are going with me, like this video. If you guys um, are losing some weight too, let me know how much in the comments below, and let me know how your week went in the comments below. Be sure to subscribe. I'll put that link up here as well. And I will see you guys for week two. Bye, guys.